Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the Master of Profits today looking at another collaboration beer that Ama Bokus released for their American Days. A series of collaboration they did with American breweries or Amaikena Day I think they call it over in uh, at the brewery. So this is another one of the collabs. This is another hoppy beer. Most of the beers this year are hoppy beers and this is a collab they did with 8ball from uh, Bellevue, Kentucky. I've never heard of this brewery. And this is their India Pale Lager Bordello Bandits, or India Pale Strong Lager. 6.3% dry hop India Pale Strong Lager, brewed with barley malt, water. Uh, interestingly enough, it doesn't say which malt. Usually they say everything on the label, but it just says barley malt. And then the hops are, maybe it's just Pilsner malt or something. And then the hops are Simcoe, Citra Cascade, and then they use a lager yeast. So this should be interesting. An IPL can be pretty nice. So quite hazy for a lager, but... It still looks nice in the glass. It's just like hazy, um, golden yellow color, I guess. Not much head to it. A little bit when I poured it, but kind of like white head is what's there, but looks nice. Let's check out the aroma on Bordello Bandits. Yeah, it's not, it's pretty nice. Citric and lemony. It's not crazy popping. Uh, it's got that clean kind of lager note to it. That clean lager yeast profile. And then like a sweet Pilsner type of malt aroma, bready, lightly, but very lemony and kind of limey, citrusy, grassy. It smells pretty nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Very light beer, like flavor-wise. Now, well, I don't know if light flavor, it's got a good bitterness too, but like very like. It's, it's got that kind of light, clean kind of flavor that you get in lagers that is just like super quaffable. Um, like, just like that lager, clean, clean lager yeast with like that kind of crisp Pilsner malt flavor. A little bit of sweetness. And then just kind of citric, lemony, limey hops. Maybe, maybe a bit of citrus peels, maybe a, a, the slightest hint of blueberry, no, blueberry note. I just like a brady sweetness. And it's pretty refreshing. Nothing crazy popping or anything though, but it's a really nice brewed lager actually. Really nice clean lager flavors underneath the hops. Maybe I'm getting a bit of piney grapefruity flavors as well now on the back. Uh, which is quite nice. It's kind of like in the West Coast vibe as well, because it's got a bit of that, like it's actually not crazy bitter, but it's got a good bitterness on the aftertaste. Oh, do, do they say I've used in their bottles? I can't remember. I don't think so. But it's pretty nice. Really sessionable stuff, actually, for 6.3%. I love that kind of clean lager flavor paired with the hops. Actually, India Pale Lagers can be really nice. You can see I'm drinking it quite fast. This is quite refreshing and sessionable. Mm. I'm drinking straight 90 with this one as well. Pretty nice stuff. Nothing major, nothing crazy, nothing. Just, just very well brewed lager, but with some nice... Uh, modern hop flavors. So, yeah, well, India Pale Lager, as it's called. So, if you guys had a chance to try the Bordello Bandits by Ama Bokus and 8 Ball Brewing Company over in the States, let me know what you thought of it. Pretty tasty stuff, I think. And if you're into lagers, this, and you're not into IPAs, this, I think, would be kind of a good springboard, actually. Because it's got the cleanness of lager, lagers and then those flavors of IPAs. But nice stuff. If you had it, guys, let me know what you thought of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers. See you guys in another beer review.